the three line strike. Let's do some back testing. So, if you haven't already had the opportunity to do so, I suggest that you go check out this indicator. It is on TradingView. I will put the link in the description below along with another link to a, another video that I had done where we had actually looked at some testing, back testing results over the previous five days. And I know that's not a long period of time, but I wanted to get a sense of how this thing actually performed in particular on the five minute time frame, all by itself. So you want to see more check that out down below now as far as where we are at here I uh, also wanted to do some back testing using the replay feature just to check it out see what it is live because I didn't throw it on the other video so I figured why not do it on this one and let's check it out so if you're unfamiliar with TradingView they do have a replay feature it's right up here at the top you go ahead and you click on it and it will show a line wherever your cursor is and if you could just go back and click on the time period where you want to start from and then you will see this little uh, tab here that you can do some controls with so I've already set it back in particular to where believe it or not there was one point in time where I was waking up at about 3 30 in the morning just to try to catch some trades so we're going back to old school starting at 3.30 a.m. and we're going to go through and see how these trades end up going. So I'm going to click through them rather than just playing the normal feature where it cycles through itself because I don't want to miss anything. Sometimes these candles take a moment just to get themselves set. So we do have our, our first signal here. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to mark it, and as far as a color, I'm going to do something neutral, like uh, let's just do it as white, just to see how things go, and we are going to continue. Now what we are looking for is the same as in the previous video that I had done, where we're looking for 20 pips in profit, and 10 pips will be our stop loss so let's just check it out here and one thing actually I, and I should have mentioned this in the previous video that it's important to remember that especially if you're using your own broker they do have not the best spreads and so pips a single pip can be very important so if you're scalping it's going to be a little bit more difficult uh, since you are dealing with that extra the extra couple pips especially if your take profit is is not that many so but we could see here that our first one does appear to have been a winner so we would have entered in at the close or near the close of this candle right here so it would have been right down here I did put a little space just to pretend as if we didn't get in exactly at the bottom and counting for spread it's never going to be at the perfect uh, candle close Regardless, it looks like we can consider that as a win. We could continue on. Oh, almost had one there and see what I mean. Oh, looks like we have another one. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to swing through these relatively quick just so we can get through them for at least today. I will just put the white marker, the white line marker when there is a trade. And then we can go back and change the colors and see how it did. That looks like in my, ooh, my double up. <clears throat> and now the one thing too that I would also mention that if you're going to use this type of strategy and I did kind of do this when I was running the back test previously is that if you see something like this where you have one signal let's say for a sell in this case and then another signal uh, to sell that 
if you're okay with the uh, on the risk side of things, you can double up on those particular trades. So let's see how this continues to do. And while we're cycling through, one thing that I was pleasantly, I don't want to say surprised by, but uh, if you're unaware, there are a lot of indicators on TradingView that do something called repainting. Uh, and that's where, let's say, if there was a particular signal, it came candles afterwards, that's the repaint. Um, and this indicator does not do that. So that's always a good sign. It's also, to me, a good sign of somebody's level of integrity. Well, I know that that might be the intention of repainting. Personally, if you're an active trader, I don't see any reason to have an indicator that repaints. It just doesn't make very much sense to me. So we have a buy signal, a signal to go long there. Ooh. Signal to go short. And I think unlike before, we will not necessarily worry about the um, partial profits or partial losses on this one. We're just going to see whether, as if we jumped right in at that particular time, whether it would have been a winner or a loser. So we have another one right there. And that's where we ended up at. So, see how many total trades we had. Since three, we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. It just so happens that if you watch my previous video that you'll remember that we went through about 44 trades over the period of five days, which was right in between that eight and nine number of trades per day. So in my opinion, coming from a trend trader here, somebody who has traded off the four hour chart and then now trades off the daily and uses algorithms, that's quite a lot to me. So let's go ahead and let's see how it did. So while I have these, I'm not gonna use them for every one because I think we could kind of see whether or not these trades were successful or not. Um, unless we're looking like we are close. So, so this one at 10 pips. See, and this is why it's important, You why you must go back and check to make sure, just because, to be honest with you, when I first went through this, I thought, okay, this is probably a winner. Like, I mean, look at it, look at where it goes afterwards. But you need to go back and test, because realistically, if I were to have made this trade and all of a sudden it pops back up, I would have immediately been out and thought, ah, oh, great, I got a loser. So um, just because if you go back when you are when you think you're back testing, you may not actually be doing the right work. So you need to make sure that you're thorough and you got to be honest with yourself. You can't just pretend like, oh yeah, that's a winner. You got to make sure that it is. Uh, that being said, I think this one was going to be a winner. That's for sure. I probably could have eyeballed that one, but you never know. This one looks like it did not make it. But you know what? I'm curious. Yeah, nope. And as far as that sell, now, what's interesting about this one is, well, and this is the thing. When I was doing the my previous back testing, I was closing. Uh, on the opposite signal so like in the event for this one it would have been a partial profit just because I would have closed right at this candle would have only been 
I mean, maybe a couple pips, um, and that's not really considering the spread. Um, but for this one, I'm going to keep it white just because we don't really know if you stick to it and you, as soon as you're in on a trade and you get an opposite signal and you ignore it and you say, I'm going to wait until it finishes, whether it's good or bad, doesn't matter. You know, this could be one of those cases. Um, but that being said, we might as well just move on and see how these ones go. So these would have been, those, both those would have been losses. So, and then this one is still up in the air as well. So, if we look back from that 3.30 time, we would have had again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 trades. And out of those 9, we would have had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Um, losers and then we would have had at least two winners with two uncertain ones depending on how you're trading what you're doing with your trade management are you focusing on exits or are you just letting things ride out so um, that being said you know with this type of strategy um, whenever you're dealing with a risk to reward ratio where the reward rate uh, the reward portion is higher than the risk portion you're probably going to always I'll say always but most of the time you're going to have a lower win rate and as I've mentioned previously that can be tough psychologically if you're losing a lot you need to put a lot into those winners those winners need to be significant enough to overcome those losers uh, but the most important thing is how you handle it so a lot of things to consider uh, that being said in my opinion this isn't too bad of a reversal indicator reversals are really difficult and they typically don't have very high win rates and that's why oftentimes you hear about well you need to make sure that you have a good risk to reward ratio a one to two or one to three one to four just because you're going to have a lot of losses but when you have those winners you have big winners so I hope you find some value in all of this. If you haven't had the opportunity, I suggest you go check out my other video, check out TradingView, um, and I will hopefully see you on the next one. Take care.